G'day and welcome back to Project 200. People who've been following the channel might remember the air filter research and testing I did a few years back, where I put 800 grams of talc dust through a series of filters in the 200's factory airbox. I wasn't particularly impressed with the performance of any of them, and I was left with the objective of finding or making something better. Well, I'm hoping that that moment has finally arrived, with the release of Donaldson's PowerCore airbox and filter. I've been running an early production model of this airbox in my 200 for the last month or so, and you can find a link to the installation video on the Project 200 website or by clicking here. Today though, I'm going to be repeating the infamous talc test on the PowerCore airbox and filter to see how it performs under the same conditions as the flat panel filters in the previous testing. The first step in the talc test is to weigh the complete airbox plus the talc. Then, with the blower running at full throttle, the airflow through the airbox and the new filter is measured. Next, a total of 800 grams of talc dust is put into the airbox intake over a six minute period. Talc is a natural mineral manufactured by grinding rocks into dust and has a similar typical particle size to ISO test dust and to fine outback bull dust. Once all the talc has been injected, the airflow is measured again to give an indication of how much airflow restriction the talc has caused to the filter. The airbox and empty talc containers are then weighed for a second time to calculate how much of the talc was trapped and therefore how much passed through the filter and was lost. Then it's time to open the airbox up to visually inspect the filter. Despite the huge amount of dust ingested, the service indicator has barely moved and there's not a speck of dust to be seen on the clean side of the filter or the airbox lid. These results really tell the story compared to the 200's flat panel filter options, and even the cyclonic FHG that was used as a reference point previously. Comparing the results to the flat panel filters, the PowerCore airbox flowed substantially more air than any of the alternatives. In fact, it flowed more air after the talc ingestion than any of the other filters flowed when they were brand new, having lost less than 4% of its original airflow. And now for the all-important filtration performance. On my scales that read down to an accuracy of 1 gram, there was no measurable amount of dust that made it through the filter at all, which is an infinitely better result than any of the flat panel filters tested previously. Again, I want to stress that the talc test is far from perfect and isn't scientific. It's just a comparison of filter performance under the same conditions to give some idea of each filter's relative performance in extreme dust environments. There is, however, an industry standard scientific test for air filters called ISO 5011. Pretty much every engine and filter maker in the world uses this standard to develop and test their air filters. The ISO testing gives an efficiency rating, which is essentially the percentage of dust they capture under identical controlled conditions. It's quite a severe test that's been developed over several decades. I'd like to show you now what the results of ISO testing look like practically for a few different filter types. For perspective, this is 10 kilograms of dust. Let's say it represents all the dust ingested by your air filter system over the life of your vehicle. Now, if you're using an oiled cotton or foam air filter, then according to typical ISO testing results, it would capture between 97 and 99% of the dust, meaning about 200 grams of the original 10 kilograms would get through to the engine. If you're using a typical pleated fibre flat panel filter, such as the Factory 200 series filter, with an ISO rating of around 99.5%, then about 50 grams would get through to the engine. If you're using an older radial pleated fibre air filter, like this 20-year-old Donaldson FHG with a 99.9% .9 efficiency rating, then you're down to only about 10 grams of dust getting through. Finally, there's the PowerCore filter for the 200 series. It has a remarkable ISO efficiency rating of 99.99%, meaning only one gram of the original 10 kilograms would get through. When I did the original talc test, the results for all but the oiled foam filter came out very close to their ISO figures. As you've seen, the same was true for the power core this time around. It's taken a long time, but I'm confident that Donaldson have produced far and away the best aftermarket air filter system for the 200 series. There is nothing else that comes close to its performance. Have a read of the Project 200 website for more information and an installation video. See you next time.